this is the product of perpetration of the idea that some people are not worthy of justice. Um, and that those people are overwhelmingly young and black and male. And that the best place for them is prison. And if not prison, then what Michelle Alexander describes as a kind of invisible cage of post-felony conviction life. And that's what George Zimmerman saw when he saw a young man walking down the street with Skittles. He saw what our society has taught him to see. He saw someone who was already a criminal. And as she argues so cogently in her book, to be young and black and male is to be a criminal, basically, nowadays. And so that's, that's what this was the product of. And the criminal justice system is always afraid of these cases. They're always afraid to really get into it and, and have real justice served. Because to do so would reveal the depths to which this goes in their system. Every time claims of racial bias and patterns of racial injustice have been brought before them, they have said, yes, that is the pattern. However, we cannot admit it. However. Because to admit it would be to condemn our whole thing. And I think what's happening is that that condemnation, that sense of the whole thing being rotten, is becoming more and more clear in the minds of millions and millions of people. That's what the era of mass incarceration really means. You have a mass of people involved in this thing. And the more people you involve in it, the more people begin to figure it out. And so that's the flip side of mass incarceration. Now a whole mass of people have a reason to think it through critically, to come to understand it. And now what we're seeing is to fight it, to get into the streets and challenge it. And I think that's why we saw such an outpouring here in the streets today. An unbelievable outpouring.